Hey guys, welcome back to Read Something, Write Something. I'm Kat, and this is Nina. And we're going to start out with a sonnet, just like every other day. Sonnet number four. Unthrifty loveliness, why dost thou spend upon thyself thy beauty's legacy? Nature's bequest gives nothing but doth lend, and being frank, she lends to those are free. Then beauteous niggard, why dost thou abuse thy bounteous largus given thee to give? Profitless usurer, why dost thou use so great a sum of sums, yet canst not live? For having traffic with thyself alone, thou of thyself thy sweet self dost deceive. Then how, when nature calls thee to be gone, what acceptable audit canst thou leave? Thy unused beauty must be tombed with thee, which used lives the executor to be. Sonnet 4. Okay, so um, the book that I chose today to talk about is 1984. It's George Orwell. Um, and I'm sure you've all heard of Big Brother. You know, government's watching you and... And the TV show. And Yeah, the TV show. Um, and maybe you've seen the big billboards with giant eyes on them. But, um, Perhaps. Um, 1984 is uh, kind of a dystopian sort of novel. Um, it's all about the, the society and the brotherhood who um, are all for governments taking over everything. They've got, you know, artificial insemination and there's no love and all of that fun stuff. So um, the main character um, actually is working for the government, but he doesn't like the way that it's, nope. it's going on. And so he, he buys a diary, which is illegal, to record all of his thoughts um, and hide them from the thought police. And one day he's walking through his hallway at work and this woman passes him a note that says, I love you, and they start a relationship, which is not allowed. And so um, it moves on from there. They're um, trying to find a way to join this group that goes against the government. Um, and I don't want to ruin anything, but it is a good book. It's, um, it's, it's one of the classics. Everyone should read it just because... Just because everybody should read it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> most people have probably read it in like a high school or college English course or um, uh, like humanities or something. Yeah. And um, so it's just a good book. It's something that everyone should probably read because of the, the, the things that Orwell wrote about the year 1984 are um, relevant today because what he thought would happen has started to happen. And so it's just something that is relevant to our time. So It's definitely worth reading. It is uh, it, and it's relatively quick. It's Yeah, I short. mean it's a it's a longish book, but it's a quick read. Mm -hmm. Um unless you're reading it for school and then they yeah. drag it out forever and but, ever. But yeah, it, and it's Orwell and Orwell is usually pretty good. So Yeah. Yeah. So Okay, Nina has the word of the day. So our fourth word of the day is anomaly. It is a noun, and its definition is someone or something that deviates from the normal or common form, order, or rule, a, pecu <laughs> a peculiarity, <laughs> or abnormally. Abnormality. Abnormality. Is what yeah. I meant to say. But that's abnormality. Okay. I mean, yeah. abnormally, abnormality, same thing. Mm -hmm. And it comes from Latin and Greek. Anomalia. Anomalia. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's what you should use today. Yep. Definitely. It's not that hard. I mean, just really. look at somebody and be like, you're an anomaly. Yep. That's what she did. Yep. That, that's what she did. Read something. Write something. And comment below. Thank you. Bye.